Mike Reed, Troy, thank you. What's up, everybody? We're just setting stuff up right now, so give us a second. I know, I don't know how to turn it down. Oh. We're just setting up right now, hold up. Give us two seconds. Right, here we go. Catch a video of me projecting this fish. Probably. Why? We're, we're just, we can, you can draw it on there. I just know it's going to be an octopus fiasco. How? Because I know my level of. What's up, you guys? Can we turn that around? Yeah. I don't know if that's going to go over there. Oh, hey. What? Ah! No, not that hay. That's so rad. Hey, hi. Hello. Hey, y'all. So, where did the big one go? I don't know. So. Whatever you're doing, let's go get a drink. Thank you, Teapot. You can't stop what I'm doing right now. I'm doing a video. I'm just putting this out there for something that the camera can um, focus on. We're drawing out a beta fish. Is Vamp in the house? Uh, she's usually in the background. Sorry, Bowie. My bad. Y'all know how Bowie do. Have y'all had an awesome day? It's Saturday, right? Have y'all had an awesome mm -hmm. Saturday? Yeah, I don't have... I don't think we have anything to drink in the house. I think we have wine. So, real quick, Jeff is sketching out. Um, the volume may be very low because we're twisted around. Hold on. We're on the other table, so let me. Well, does the volume matter with it, that thing on there? Huh? Yeah, because I turned it down. I have the mouse over here. Okay, well. No, you turn the music down, not the volume. This, this yeah, right but I here? I think that that's the same thing, because that's connected to that. Which one does it use it? Either way, I just paused it, so let's see. No, don't turn the volume way up. See, I have it paused. Like, this is play, no. it's paused. So it's not letting me turn it up anyways. Okay, how does that sound? Of course we're live. Okay. Is that better? It has that tap thing now. Let me know if it's better now because I turned the mic around. So Jeff is sketching out real lightly uh, the beta fish for me and then we're going to get to inking. Let's 
super pumped about doing this. I love doing alcohol inks. I love doing flowy things, which we need. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The cat was playing with it. Hold on, I know it. So, let me know what you guys think of the lighting. We just put up these big ass curtains. Um. up these curtains and you don't hear the outside either. But it is Saturday so it's probably not going to be okay. Better cool. Um, Betafish are... There is a ladybug right there. And my easel cracked. I'm of glad course I you can live broadcast this on TikTok. I didn't even know that was possible. Look at this ladybug. We're having an infestation. Oh, anyway. Anyway. oh she's not dead. Yeah. We always have ladybugs. So anyways, um, when he finds his eraser, he's going to come back and help me draw out this quiche. Yes, it does block some sound out. Because if y'all know it gets real loud here, he's on stage with ladybug duty. Well, I'm looking for my... Eraser has got to be over here somewhere. It's just a big gray eraser. I know what it looks like. I just I don't know where it could possibly be. Ladybug write itself and comes back. Hope it's me. That's all right. I'll I'll deal with it. You could probably just deal with it, right? All the the ink will probably. Get that out, right? Well, it's going to be sketchy in the winter. This is like a big, like, one of those fat kind. I like this. Who doesn't like a fat fish? Ladybugs are not an infestation. I was just saying there's a lot of them that come into our place in the winter. Ladybugs are not an How can you unstick heat gun buttons stuck by resin? Dremel. Yeah. Well, I love ladybugs. I'm just, I wasn't saying infestation as a derogatory term. I was just using it as a term of quantity. Calm down, ladybug person. <laughs> it's mainly. I think she's just giving me crap. Made this a little, little bit bigger. I like a I want fat a nice fish. One, but rubbing like all the ink. It's going to be real faint for you guys to see right now. Jess is basically drawing it on with a shading tool for charcoal and graphite use. But it will become more evident soon. Thank you uh, for the order. Um, Deb said, did you get a Dremel? He did. Um, I think we have a video out on how Jeff customized. I, I should. There should be a video out. How he customized a, uh, a heat gun. It wasn't really customizing. I, I, I unstuck it, opened up that little area where the trigger is, and, uh, and just painted it so it wouldn't stick. What the hell is that? Do we use a regular eraser in the meantime? Mm, probably. Oh my god. I know. Look, we're not in a hurry, are we? Well, my game starts in an hour. Oh my god. Yes, if you guys don't know, Alabama plays LSU today. Oh, yeah. What? Again? Yeah, the Pac-10 is in big trouble with the SEC. 
see. Mm. And the, uh, what do you call it? The Big 12 is in, is in direct. Um, everybody else was like, what is he talking about? Is he drunk? Yeah, I don't know where it is. He just told me about the footballs. The fun game we play. Um, it's probably in there. Probably doing that. Oh, it's probably right here. What? Oh. I love these kneaded erasers. If you guys are new to art and you want a really good eraser, get a kneaded eraser. I'm not sure how to spell it. Probably K N W E E D N. There's probably a silent D in there. Because needed, it's like ham, it's a pan, pan, pan. it's like comb. But what this is, is basically it's an eraser that does not leave erase hashtag things, little, you know, like a regular eraser leaves behind. Um, and it cleans itself. That's what this does. Eraser fragments. Yes. Um, and you can, it, it's, a very, you can make it a very wide, you can make it very skinny. It's good for like portrait work and little detail stuff. Um, so that's cool, yeah. All right, so what I'm gonna do, now what I'm using is just a, a like a blending nub. And I'm just scraping it on this piece of charcoal. I wanna get, we need to make sure we get the points that are where the tail meets and the body meets so that you know what's what's happening here. Jeff is really good at drawing what you see and I am really bad about idealizing and getting my proportions wrong. So whenever I have to draw something personally, I usually project it. Um, I do the same thing. From a number of references. references. But Jeff can sketch out shapes like this. Um, and it's funny because normally it's easier for me to to draw out stuff with my airbrush. But it's easier for me to draw something with a wider hand. What is what would that be called? A wider like, think about drawing with a pencil. You have a little bitty line, and you're doing it, and you're drawing, and it just looks, uh. If you have something with a wider, I guess it would be nib, a wider point, point you can you can make something, the, the, the area a little more shaded in so that you kind of get an idea of, of, of how big it is rather than two little lines or, you know, however many lines that you're drawing. It's just, it's, it's not a, I don't know, I've just, I've never been a fan of drawing with a pencil. Thank you, JJ. Um, Deborah, I hope that helped you. Um, if not, just let me know. Remember, this is a fantasy fish anyway, so this is going to be a fun... I like, can't wait to you know, help me drop that out because it's going to be almost like hair. If you guys don't know, Jeff is famous for hair and eyes. It's amazing. Thank you for the reminder to like, share, subscribe, leave comments, etc.
demonstrated a version to Oya. That is true, and I would say it's phenomenal that the airbrushing. So when he sketches out a shape just out of the blue, out of thin air, he starts really light at first, which is why he's using his blender tool, and then he goes back in and darkens the areas that he... You just get, you get an idea of where everything's at, um, so that, like, proportions and, and where, you know, where the head is, where this fin is, where this tail is, and, and then you can come in with the dark stuff and just do these quick lines. They're not, you're not married to this line, but it, it gives you a, you know, a, a reference, a destination point to where other stuff needs to go. Hey, Ooh, that's fun. These, these little guys are like little pussy stuff. Mm -hmm. They're the... That's like that little... The just as pretty. With their little hands. Like the side fan. Megan, you're on an awesome day. I hope you're having an awesome day. Judy. G Judy. Hi, G Judy. I hope you had a great day. I hope you're feeling well. Jeff has such finesse. Concur. You just gotta be very loose with 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 how you're drawing, especially for something like this. You know, if you're sitting here like doing these lines and, and, and doing this and, you know, for one, you're going to get your hands all dirty. This thing is very sturdy, very, uh, very, what would that be called without, without the she says? Rigid. Very rigid. So, you know, you can push down on this. It's got kind of a flat tip. I've, I've, I've kind of took some sandpaper and made this a little rough on the end so that when you do sketch with it, it's a little wider, a little wider area. And it's almost like, you know, a concentrated charcoal, but it, it doesn't, you know, stay with those dark edges. Well, thank you. Thank you, Megan. Your lines come out so good, right? Really appreciate that, Megan. Thank you. So this is good. Mm -hmm. 
we're going to go back in with the possible pen anyway. So what you can do with this now, since this, this is like, you kind of saw like some of these lines can get erased, but when you have harder charcoal lines, it just kind of takes a little bit off. So if you don't want this to be so dark and you're going to be going over this with something, I would, I would get to, because I have all this down, I can go back in and kind of lighten these up so that they're not so defined and I don't know how that I don't know how the alcohol is gonna react with this. Right. Do we wanna do the are you gonna do posture pen right now? No. I'm gonna do it after the ink wipes and cool. Ah, okay. And maybe this might just kind of push this into the Right. You know. I think it's good to do this so it's like picking up any like Yeah, loose stuff. Still on anything loose on the board. Right, Deborah? I think I was screwed on a, a round. So I'm going to go with my regular um, color palette, which would be rainbow. So I'm going to use various amounts of what I have over here. Let me just pull up. So we're going to be using Marabou Rainbow Zig number 225 pink, Blick ink number 077 magenta, uh, Copic number BG09 blue green, Jacquard uh, black, Jacquard sunbright yellow, and Ranger aquamarine. Well, it's just. We're gonna be over there if we spin that around. It's just very. Uh, you know, you know, you see it, so. Mm -mm. You can flip that back around that way. Let me just brighten this up. I feel like it's. I might you are just in time. So. Yeah, and be able to I know, I'm them. just going to, tell me if that white balance is going to blue, just the look of it. Right, it's still on the yellow side. Okay, it's bluer. So. How, how does this look, y'all? If it looks good, then. Well, let's drop some color and see if it's okay. So, if you're new here, oh, I'm going to be using my Wagner embossing gun to manipulate my inks as well. So, if you're new, never seen me do alcohol ink before, I have very loose style. It looks very hectic until basically the last second. Um, <laughs> Ta da! Basically, it's like one of those things where people draw it and then they turn it upside down and they're like, oh, that's kind of how my style is. Um, how does that look? Looks like fine. So, first things first is I use uh, 90. Can you get away from me? I use 91% alcohol, but feel free to use whatever you have on hand. I'm sure there's other reasons for the different percentages, but for me, the reason why I like 91% uh, is because it stays, it doesn't just sit on my work. It evaporates. Cujo, lay down. Calm down, Cujo. You gotta calm down, brother. Okay. He just needs 
needs that attention right now. Um, I love this road also. Um, so I always drench my piece in alcohol, drop color on it, manipulate it a little bit, and then we hone in the color with black, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm using 91% isopropyl alcohol. I have already put some into this squirt bottle and this squirt bottle. This may have a drop of blending solution in it, I'm, I can't remember. But I use that for refined lines after a while. Why do I keep doing that? Oh, goodness. Baby noise. <laughs> Hi, baby. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I can't hold you the whole time because I got to do some work. Thank you. Here, I'll put him up here. Can I show you over to Daddy? There you go. There you go. Have a seat. Have a seat. Don't start that. Yeah. He's just gonna just cough all up in there. Hey. Sit. Hey. Look at me. Sit. He's doing it straight to your face. I know. He's doing it straight to your face. So let's get started. I'm gonna start. I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up. So I want the color to kind of flow with the flow of the piece. So I'm going to do a swirl in that kind of motion. So I typically start at the end. I don't know how this charcoal is going to work with this alcohol, but it'll all be all right. Right? Right. So I dropped, I have no idea how much alcohol but it's going to be awesome. And it's going to go out. <laughs> oh, God, it just... <laughs> just put him up in his penthouse. <laughs> I tend to drop more yellow than the other colors because I feel like it fades faster. I know, it's sad. It's so sad when you have a pup that starts to get older and starts to get sick. But. All I can do is keep him comfortable and give him everything he could possibly ever want, ever in life, ever. And that's what that's what our game plan has been. Almost, we're almost out of line. Rainbow. He always gets clogged. This is the that sparkly look that you like. So alcohol is super not good to breathe in. Make sure you're in a very well ventilated space. Wear a respirator. It looks like the uh, the charcoal is holding up against the alcohol. Yeah. So that's good. And it'll give you some ghost lines, so that'll be good too. Kind of helps you draw it and, and uh, add lines that maybe you didn't intend on being there. And I think it's a good thing. Yeah. So I'm trying to have these fades really loose. So I'm just doing kind of the outside bits right now. 
kind of control that. I don't want too many hard lines. So I'm basically just getting the colors to dance with each other, and that's about it. And controlling the outside. Then I'll add more alcohol to the outside line. And continue to work my way around the piece. Also, if you notice a color starting to make itself that is not cute, like this right here, it's looking like a peachy tan brown. It's going to end up being just mud. We're just going to dab that out. Something. We'll just put another dab of whatever colors are going to mix with whatever's around it the best. And in this case, that's going to be yellow because everything around it is blues and greens. Okay. So now we're going to come around this way and then up that way. Look my this. Okay. So I just want to bring that out. Sorry about that. Have it interact a little bit with the colors next to it. About gaming and tutorials and just fun stuff like how to improve. That's kind of so amazing. That's so fun. Okay, so now we're going to bring it up this way. I'm trying to attach the colors to kind of where I already have them. Getting this all looks so amazing together. Like right? that's such a good sunset color. That is achieved from set it and forget it. Yeah. I'm not sure. People try to control it too much and then it gets muddy and so it doesn't fade like this. For people that can control ink like that, that's amazing. I'm not one of those people. Clara is one of those people. I, mean, I, I would suggest like doing all this up here, but keeping it like I didn't picture anything. I don't want any black. This is your work. I, I didn't plan on any black marks going below this line. I want to keep them all inside and up there as well. So maybe just do a little bit of color into that. I don't know. Because it looks so good all fluffy down here.
I'm going to make this fade. I put alcohol down. This is going to be hard to do with this paint because it's so pigmented. You must put a lot of alcohol right? You know, I just did put a lot of alcohol in it, so. Is that 91 percent? Mm -hmm. Is that why it's so fast? Yeah, but I prefer it to dry faster. I love with inks how they sometimes can change colors. Sometimes that's frustrating. But when I'm, I guess, expecting it, it's something that I find really fun to watch happen. I'm just going to pick up some of this color down here. Just dab in a little bit. A little dab of dia. All right, so B, can you tell me what you were saying a second ago? You don't want me to bring the color too much into his face? I guess if you could, I, I just, yeah, do that. Just do all your color into the face. I guess I wanted it to stay inside the circle. That's how I pictured it, the, the reason why I picked that. Yeah, I'm just trying to understand. How would you build, how would you get going? Buy it. Or how do you do that? We did ours with Joe Daddy. Mm -hmm. What about with your name? What if you snatch that up and put it in You just have to give it. You just register for it. So what is the go? Just go to YouTube and sign up. It's usually linked to a Gmail account. It just didn't make one. When you start a YouTube, it, you get a Gmail account with it. And when you start a Gmail account, you can sign in to YouTube with it. I would make the end of a sentence like that very faint, like very cool. Wow.
connect some of this. I'm just going to pull some yellow through here. And probably just let this fade out into the rest of the face just by putting some just regular alcohol around it, letting it bleed in that direction. I think I may do an ink class next month. Okay. Let me see if I can pull some of that pigment out. Paint, are you okay with? Yeah, that looks great. If you want to put some of that pink up in there, like maybe in the eye and right here, I like this. Just a little bit, maybe a little green with it. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Oh, that's the blue? I'm using secondary. I'd rather you be here to help me than not. Um, so you're going to put a yeah, dab put of a pink? Blue. Put a dab of blue, maybe, so that it turns green. And then some of the blue will be like. You want me to there. put it in the eye and keep it there, or you just want me to put it in the area? Just right there. Okay. In the area? Or what does it matter? Yeah. It's all. It's not defining anything. Because if your vision is to keep it in the eye, I don't know if I can control it. Twenty-seven viewers on TikTok Live. What? I want to see on TikTok. How can you? I want to go live on TikTok. Does <laughs> it look like a koi fish patch? Let's see what that is. I would blend it out though. I would put more of the alcohol in there. I love like little light pink like that. Mm -hmm. Same. I'm just gonna put some of this right here. How does how does she how is she going live on TikTok with us? Um, asked if uh, I would mind and I said no. Yeah, but how is she doing it though? I wonder what how. Teach us your TikTok ways. I'm not quite sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry if I'm like pointing stuff out that you're, that you're already going to get. I'm just 
It just told me that you're interested in sheep, so. Um. Well, we, we are on TikTok. You sure did, Susan. Mm. I'm just going to make a video right now. What's up, TikTok? We are Artist Tell Dad, and we are new to this channel. Uh, we're new to TikTok. What's up, TikTok? We are Artist Tell Dad, and we are new to TikTok. She is doing some alcohol eating. Right this second. Come check us out. If you have a thousand followers and go live. Your way are slow and gay. <laughs> and if you have like 17. We have 29. Alright, I'm almost done with this ink part and then we are going to go um, on with the process. FYP for your pay or for your Are you asking me a TikTok thing? No. I'm not gonna have that either. Alright, let's dry any parts we still have. Please do that. Um and what is it? Hashtag FYP? For your page? I'm pretty sure that's the terminology that the young ones are using. That's, that's what those people on, they say, you should do this. You should be putting this on there. So how many colors are you using? I used four. Wow. I used two blues, a pink, and a yellow. Unless you count the marabou rainbow, which is just rainbow and shimmery. Okay. So we have our base colors done. It doesn't really look like a fish right now. It's semi-hot mess. But, um, it's about to look awesome. Um, I don't think they're trying to run anymore. I think, uh, what's his name? I think Trump made U.S. companies buy it or he's going to shut it down, though it's sold. Beautiful. Hopefully next time this will be set up, we'll have one big table. Okay. So now, what am I going to do? I'm going to 
Let it dry. Let it dry. Let it dry. I'm going to let it dry a bit, and then I'm going to spray my sealant on this. And what sealant do you use? The one that's over here. Can you? So the sealant that you need to use is UV Archival by Krylon in the shade Matte. Matte's very important because it doesn't have the alcohol properties in it that will reignite or set off your inks and make them not look like they did when you started spraying the stuff on there. Very important. I tried to go off one time, ruined everything. It was horrible. Don't recommend. This is really fun. Oh, thank you, Shane. That's not really so funny. Somebody named Mr. Joe Biden. Um, <laughs> I hope you didn't have a bad day, Shane. We have 33 followers. Watch out. <laughs> I remember when we just had 33 followers on um, the tube. Mm -hmm. And it's so funny, y'all. We didn't even know that we had this many views on this video. But it's our uh, lip video. It's got 2,000 277 views, 157 hearts. That's pretty amazing. We didn't even know. We forgot that we had signed up for this. That's the, it's the uh, lip piece of the neon around it. Still available. Still available. <laughs> All right, y'all. This is where we are. That's still a little tacky. That's still a little tacky. Don't you want to hit it with a heat gun? A real heat gun? I don't want to. <laughs> Will it get too hot? I'm trying to get a little bit. Babe, your hair looks like this heat. Whoa! Whoa! I want more. Oh, whatever, Clara. Also, if you want to see someone who is a magician with alcohol links, check out Claire's channel because she can paint like real things with alcohol links. Not just blobs of color with lines over it. I'm not downplaying my work, I love my work. Now I can't wait to get those curtains in to put them up. It's so funny because it's like, now that you look at them like this, it looks like they're just too small and we're trying to cover up the windows with anything. So I got these huge blackout curtains. Let me show you guys these. Let me show them. Oh, you guys have to see them? Mm -hmm. And they're Check tall enough. Sure. I mean, it'll reach all the way up there. I just didn't have a long enough ladder. But that over there is not cool. This little gap. And then the, the other one as well. What's wrong? Oh, yeah. I forgot about that piece. So, um, right, Judy, Jeez. you were like one of our firstest ones. I'm actually not going to do. Um, the archival spray yet because I know I'm gonna want to do black alcohol ink. Um, oh, yeah. So I don't know which blinds you intended to have black and which not. Um, why don't we use why don't we use that charcoal too? If you want to charcoal, it'd be. Uh, 
going, right? Sure. Here it is. It might be too. Let me we need to break this leg a little bit. You getting reckless. No, I'm not getting reckless. I'm just Maybe you were here like when I had no followers. Now it's dry too, but thanks for the heads up. We got it all. Jeff is sharpening his charcoal stick. I don't know what it's whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I have light blades stuck in my head. Alright. Let me see that picture. I know this one is going to be a hard line to wear. Can you turn that like the audio? That's that's the one I was worried about getting wrong. I'm so glad Lisa. True TV. That's so glowing. Um, Deb, I have a number of cases out with FedEx and USPS because they have 80 of my packages just floating around. For some reason, they haven't updated since I printed out the tags, so I'm working on it. On the UV archival probably will set the charcoal in place too. Yeah. This is why we like to highlight so many different mediums because all of them do such unique things that, especially when you put them together, they make even better artwork. Are you going to do the water around the fish all right now. I am not doing water around the fish. I use blue in the body of the, the fish to go lay down. So I won't be doing blue in the background. I think it'll be too convoluted. I like the negative space. Yeah, I mean, maybe 80 or something. It's not in the context of the jewelry. Thank you, Dee Dee. Lisa, um, we definitely wouldn't be where we are without our fairy art mother, GGD, that's for sure. Have an awesome night, Giddy Gay. Hey, G. See with charcoal, you can you can make stuff uh, shadow. You can you can give it a nice shadow right then and there. Like you don't. And the good thing with charcoal to give a shadow, you can take that neat eraser and just hit it, and and you can get it. You can get rid of it and then go right back over it, and it's perfect. Thank you for that, Lisa. Um, 
Yeah, I've got packages that are just floating around. It's so frustrating. I try so hard to get orders out same day that they're put in. There are times where I can't do it because we get too late that one going up like that. Days. Mm -hmm. So it's really frustrating when I put so much effort into getting orders out same day and then the post office is like, yeah, well, we'll get there when we get there. Okay, Jay. It's not that time yet. It's not. Clara says, with the flowy colors and the loose turtle, it feels very Japanese. Love where it's going. I concur. It's just when you do stuff like this, it makes everything very cohesive. Like, it's not just a hard line. It's a hard line with, you know, a fade and a, and a shadow or a, you know, a transition. Like these, like there's a hard line here, but it fades out. Mm -hmm. Fire wings. Will you do the ice black? The eyes? Thank you, Lisa. Using a charcoal stick. Yeah, just straight dark charcoal. Like the blackest that you can get. Congrats on the new me. We're going to buy it any art store, probably Amazon. Yeah, General's, General's Charcoal, like General's Art Supply, he's the artist in General. I thought that was insurance company. He's original. Ready, Judy. You gotta be kind of careful with this, with the alcohol ink, because it's slippery. And if you're drawing, you know, if you're doing a hard line like that, it, it slips, so be careful. Don't get crazy. I like this hard line, it's, like, it's such a solid line. I know, I may not even use pasta on this one. But you're not gonna have to. Literally just break the top.
Thank you so much for doing alcohol. Like, I keep waiting. I watch everything you guys do, but when you say you're doing alcohol, I am in heaven. Thank you, Carol. Well, we're here for y'all. If you ever have a request, let me know. Nay says it's pretty on me. I like it. It's not a lot better than the product is going to. Judy said no splatters, please. You heard it here first. She likes the clean messiness of the charcoal wood. Because that would be a great tattoo. Lisa said you're her rocking it. So it's cool to have. What is the only effect I get when I use stone coat metallic powders or is that what it is? Oily effect? Send me a picture if you can, dude. Sorry, but what about the thin on the other side of the side? Oh no, you still got that. Good looking out, Sue. It's so much fun to hear your name on TV. Happy to oblige, Carol. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. <laughs> so, you can't hardly see oops, the shimmer that we have in it already. There's some you see on the bottom. Hey, you guys, calm down. Added the Kucha, go lay down. Kucha. 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 Look at that. Ooh. If I would have tried to wipe that off, that would have left a mark. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, um, sometimes you just have to blow it off for them. Not APD, maybe. Love it. Let's get my dress. I know it. Mm. 
rescuing, crocheting. What I'm doing is doing this thin. Betty the Beta looks amazing. Betty the Beta. You know you can love it. You guys don't even know. It looks better in person. You can get a good true color video. I know, I'm sorry. He gets very upset if I have his brother up and not him. I really need to go there. No. Oh, right in the back of my screen. Here we are, TikTok. Artist till death. I went ahead and put the charcoal lines to define that. Yes, as you can see, you can see the shimmer. I'd have black hands. I would too. I don't know how. Who is using his fingers to smudge things and he still doesn't have black hands? I don't know. Anyways. Um, my game started 15 minutes ago, and the boys still want to go outside before I can sit down and watch the game. So, um, we'll be picking this piece back up tomorrow, doing the resin on it, and maybe even some gold or silver embellishments. Who knows? I never know. Mm. So, um... Yeah, we love you guys so, so much. Thanks for watching. Join us on all of our other social media channels. I promise soon I'm going to have a link in the thing so that um, you don't have to look down in the description box, which you can also find in the description box. Anyways. Um, yeah, we had a blast with this piece, you guys. I'm super excited about how she's going and we'll see you guys tomorrow be kind to one another you never know if someone's going through me thank you i will spray it i'd rather spray it down right after the live so that i can set overnight claire's leaving all the links to all the things you can find us at um and we will see you guys tomorrow and don't forget that we do the test so oh, you don't have to, Chuck. Chuck? <laughs> Who's Chuck? Am I Chuck now? Do I look like a Chuck? I could be Chuck. I'm going to say bye to bye.